Hello, in this video, I will show you how to use win loss chart in Excel. Now, it's quite a simple one. Actually, it's extremely simple compared to some of the other ones. But I did get some questions recently and there is a bit of confusion about it, uh, uh, maybe because of its simplicity. OK, so I'm just going to quickly show you how it all works, how to use that win loss. Uh, so first of all, we find it in the insert, okay, insert tab, in this ribbon, in this whole arrangement, right, insert, and then you go to the side, you pass through charts, through tools, spark lines, this is where we find win loss, okay, this is where we find win loss. Now, in this arrangement, I have... Um, a little table you might call it. I didn't add any borders, but this would be a table. Now, we have some values here. From here to here, we have values, okay? Some of them are positive, some of them are negative. This one is empty, right? Doesn't matter. We also have dates, okay? And normally, in a chart, you would think you would need to include dates and things like that, but the win-loss is actually so simple that you only need a line a line of numbers, okay? A line of values, and that's it. And so I'm gonna now click win loss, okay? And then in the win loss, we have data range, okay? So that will be my numbers, okay? My data range will be my numbers. It will not include my dates, okay? It will not include my dates. What happens is it does it in each specific cell. So it's not like other charts where you get a sort of uh, almost an image, okay? Another object floating around the uh, whole sheet. This one goes into specific cells and these can be selected right here. Location range, okay? I'm gonna remove that and I'm going to select my range. Let's say this will be my range like that and I click OK and I get my win loss chart. See it's quite simple we can actually expand this to see it a bit better but the idea is quite straightforward. You have the values and then you have uh, the sort of visual representation in the representing cells and that's it. Now you can take a look at my course, my Excel course for more information about Excel, or you can also join me on Skillshare, where you will find Excel class and you will be able to find some bit more stuff, such as PowerPoint and some programming things from me, and it will be a subscription. So just stand box and you'll be able to access a lot of content. Now with that said, we will conclude this video.